him. And if you can make it difficult for him to do his job, they will have difficulty as a team. We are underway game two. Trailblazers leading the series one game to none. Kevin Duffel, first shot. Unlike game one, this one is not good. Follow no good. Tap up and in Jerome Kersey. The area where the Blazers totally dominated Utah. And that was on the board where Portland had a plus 14 and a big edge on the offensive glass. Carl Malone with Buck Williams, the swarming double team. Rotate the ball to the weak side, Jeff Malone. He's with Kevin Duckworth. And well, they have a mismatch inside, but it also tells you what they think of Eaton scoring. And you see Eaton is asking for the ball against Drexler. Jeff Malone says, no, I got this one. Porter slides to forecourt, pulls the trigger, and Portland leads. Six to three. That has been a concern for Jerry Sloan since his rookie season. Buck Williams in deep. Couldn't draw the foul, and Carl Malone throws it away to Clyde Drexler. Delivers the ball to Kersey. Back to Clyde. Blazers score. Quarter number one. Jeff Malone wide open. Blazers yeah, leading by three. Mark Eaton. The horizontal hook by Mark Eaton. Clyde finds Buck. And Williams finds the net. Stockton. Carl Malone. Strong position down low. And Malone gets his first. No substitutions for either ball club. It's Drexler with Jeff Malone. Second best. A, a lot of tentative play in Blue Edwards tonight. Kersey over Blue. Seven points for Kersey. When Bailey checks in, we'll also see Cliff Robinson for Portland. Nice move by Edwards. Utah looking for the lead. Carl Malone, it falls. Entry pass, Jeff Malone. Jeff Malone translates tonight. Jazz on top by a point. Here's Terry Porter. And the Blazers regain the lead. Lead pass, Kersey flying to the basket, score it, he's fouled, it counts. The great thing about Clyde Drexler is his ability to deliver the ball where you can do something with it. Kersey gets the ball, and on the run, and Stockton tries to get a hold of him, but an old. Blazers leading by three, as you see, Carl Malone pulls the trigger. And Malone now has made three field goals, has seven points. Battle of the boards, Utah winning it, surprisingly, 12-7. Block, Markey, nice play on Buck Williams. Well, Buck Williams tried to squeeze it in, and he was hoping that he would get a call as well. John Stockton. The one area that Duckworth has improved in is being able to jump out and, and make the guard change his direction. A tremendous pass. Shot clock at five. Stockton looks. Got a shoot, beats the buzzer, and scores. Steal Danny Ames. <laughs> Gary Porter with the ball. Drexler for three. Got it. Cliff Robinson. Now Clyde for three again. Got it again. Clyde Drexler. You got to go to him against Mike Brown. They got to make the gas pay for having him out on the floor. Percy. Shot still deserting him. It is Drexler again. Stockton back. Percy. Drexler. Score. Jeff Robinson. Pass and cut. Robinson scores, and the Blazers lead by 13. The surge has all taken place in the last three minutes of this quarter. They want to jump John Stockton again. They want to make him do something he doesn't want to do. He finds Thurl Bailey. Drexler, great pass. Percy, score. 16 for Percy. John Stockton. 
four consecutive years NBA assist leader. Carl Malone. That's where you want to keep Carl Malone. Jazz down nine. They can make it a seven-point game. Blue Edwards. Edwards, ten points, and he's played much better than he did in game one. Made two of nine in game one, five of seven tonight. Buck Williams. Second basket for Buck Williams. Well, they're very deliberate in what they're trying to do. They want to use all of the clock, and when you do that, you have to make a high percentage of your shots. Jeff Malone knocks down his first two of the second half. Three Utah players in double figures. Kersey. 18 for Jerome Kersey. And that's a problem for the Jazz, and uh, Sloan recognizes. Porter gets an early call from Rick Adelman. Attack, and he does. Kersey, Duckworth, and Williams. Neither plays or guard has a foul. Now the Jazz try to double team and energize Kersey. They may call a bumping foul on Mark Eaton. Let's see. They double team and Kersey does the right thing. He attacks the basket. Blue Edwards tries to reach and make a play on the ball. Laser fans want to see their team going to Salt Lake leading 2 nothing. Jeff Malone quiets the crowd. He has six in the quarter. And it's 65-55. Three-point try, Terry Porter. 11 for Porter, the Blazer lead is 13. Stockton has five rebounds for the Jazz. Slides inside and scores. The nifty move by Stockton has been very quiet. John Stockton may think that that's the only way he's going to help his team is to have some early offense. He's trying to get a pick and roll for Drexler. Bryant. Leave it for Porter. Shot clock at seven. It is Jerome Kersey. A 14-point Blazer lead. 4.15 to go. Quarter number three. Carl Malone coming hard to the basket. Cliff Robinson will be called for the foul. And on Nine and a quarter now. With Eaton out, they have a chance to get Drexler down on the box. He can make some things happen or just overpower Jeff Malone. Terry Porter. For three. Got it. 14 for Terry Porter, and the Blazers lead by 17 points. Utah calls timeout. Oh, Malone turns away. Rebound. Percy. Four on two break. Take me home. They've done it for the most part, and as long as they don't get too gambling at the defensive end, they should be okay. Drexler. Drive on Malone. Malone down, and Clyde scores. 20 points for Clyde Drexler. 7 of 14 shooting and 9 assists for Clyde. Stockton to Carl Malone. The Jazz don't know where to go with the ball. Therefore, they're struggling to get their shot. Porter, slice, dice, score. Utah shooting now down to 45%, and the Blazers up to 52. Danny Ames. Clyde Drexler. Clyde hits another three-pointer. It is his third tray of the night. Portland by 19, blocked by Clyde. Water show by CD. Rexford, Dish, Ducker, wide open. Barry. But they had Danny Ainge right at the hoop, couldn't con con convert. Edwards pressured by Robinson, but Malone there to follow. Rexford, Robinson, give and go. The Blazers rip you. The ability of Drexler to find someone is very dramatic. A lot of double teams and very aggressive jumps to John. It's off the mark. Carl Malone there to mop up again. Davis joining Drexler on the Blazer bench. This with 8.20 to play. Eight. Any call from these officials. They're going to have to be so obvious uh, in order to get to the line. Kersey. Carl wanted Malone. to call the last time, the same type that Malone got. He comes back with the thundering left-hand jam. He did an illegal defense on that caller. Keep him out of the lane. Cliff Robinson, tough loader. Rebound, Carl Malone. Outlet Stockton has Jeff Malone. 
the thing that the Trailblazers don't want to do. Rips the ball away, and Jeff Malone has it. The Blazers turn the ball over only the sixth time tonight. Stockton, three-point field goal. Eaton towering over everyone else, gets the rebound. Eaton with ten rebounds, Stockton for three, and has it. And Stockton striking like lightning for six straight points. It is a ten-point game and still five minutes to play. And again, it shows you how quickly the complexion of a game can change. Now, the Jazz are trying to stay out high. Good, quick pass inside to Jerome Kersey. The Trailblazers finally break the run. Utah trailing by eight. Paul Malone inside block and follow. It is a six-point game. Portland's lead again is eight. 111-103. Paul Malone. I see earlier in the ball game when they had that hard aggressive. Stockton wants the ball. Well, they're looking to get a three. He has to come inside for a two, and they had to work to get it. Paul Malone to make it a four-point game. Malone with two free throws. That should be 38 and a career high. He's got a jump ball. Paul Malone ties up Danny Ainge. The Jazz feel that they have a chance to steal one. They have the tap. They trail by four. If they get a shot up quickly, Jeff Malone, two-point game. The Jazz does not need to foul. Terry Porter. Does Utah know they don't need to foul? They should not foul. Danny Ainge, shot clock at 10. Drexler throws it up. Mike Brown has it. And we're going to the other end. He needs them both. The Jazz down two. And we are deadlocked. Utah has come from 21 down in the quarter. 116 all and 14 seconds to play. In this situation, you've got to watch Stockton, but the baseline will be open. Porter. Blazers take the lead. 3 6 left. The call, but that's been the story since the 10 minute mark of the fourth period of play. The Trailblazers have not got the call. And they cannot let 20 second timeout. That should burn all of the timeout for both teams now. The drama continues. The Jazz this year, 34% shooting, 35% three-point shooting for Stockton and Griffith, respectively. No one else is a threat on the Utah team. Well, everyone's a threat because you can't get lucky. What they want to do is get a call from the official. Stockton trying to get a shot. Three-point try. It is over. And the Blazers have won the ball game.